is now 10 years later. Well, actually, not really. Uh, but we are back here now for part two of what the, why the sky is not falling. And we have so much to babble about. Yeah, I just watched I mean, it. Let's, you know, this, this is exactly why I'm a hermit. Because I don't, I don't get out. Island? I don't, yeah. I don't, oh, get yeah, out, I don't see everything for like months and months and months. And then all of a sudden, you all drop this bombshell. Hey, we're going to record. And here it is. Five hours later, we're still recording the damn thing. I'm kidding, <laughs> yeah. folks. I'm kidding. It really hasn't That's been it. that long. <laughs> but has it? Are you sure? Do you trust us? Stay tuned. And find out now. In this study level episode. (laughs) But I I do want to actually sort of leverage off uh, uh, another point that you made before, Sergio. And that was, uh, and uh, and you you mentioned it about with third party devs, um, about the concerns that, you know, we, you know, we don't like talking about money. Money's a, money's a, you know, it's a taboo topic. We don't talk about that. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we're all people. We've all got to try and put food on the table uh, for ourselves, at the very least, and usually our families. So, you know, at the end of the day, all these things that get created, you know, whatever game they're for, you know, um, you know and however you, the viewer, or us, the you know, presenters, you know, how we acquire that content, um, all of that content took someone's time, skills, effort, and passion to be able to produce. Um, and the flight sim community, I think, is one of the, you know, clear examples of that. You know, the, you know, the, the level of detail and content and quality of content, admittedly, there's also some very dubious stuff out there as well, but the, the level of detail <laughs> and quality of content <laughs> <laughs> that, that goes into the, I'm going to say, the, the vast majority of the content that is available right. to us. Um, it, you know, you, you, you don't get that by somebody who's just, you know, passing through. But, you know, and, and so much amazing content comes to us for, you know, either free or very, very low cost. Um, and at the end of the day, but, you know, they're passion, product, pa- passion projects, but passion doesn't put food in your belly. So, and I know people are going to say, oh, but Microsoft's a big, scary corporation. They can afford, they can afford to do everything. They don't have to pay anybody. Well, they don't have to make money. It's like, yeah, well, you know what? They've still got people they've got to pay. Um, so when I, and, and, and so I want to take a moment to talk about the, the whole thing of, of payment and, and, and pricing things and, and discussing that because, okay, we, we've already talked now about how if you bought your content, Okay, and, and, and to Drew's point, we only know for sure that in sim marketplace purchase content will carry across. It is a logical step to say that if you've purchased it from Orbix or Just Flight, um, that yeah. that content will also work. But yeah, okay, fair enough, no guarantees. Um so what um so so you don't need to rebuy your, your thing. And again, as I said, you know, the FAQ said you don't need to rebuy it. So cool. I don't have to respend any more money on that. Um, but now this was the question of okay, but I paid sixty, ninety, hundred dollars, whatever, for Microsoft Flight Simulator back in twenty twenty, twenty twenty on whatever. Am I going to have to buy this sequel again? Uh, and you know, why should why should I have to pay for it again? Um, and are there enough features in it to justify? Right, whatever price it is, they're going and, to ask for. And 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 I am having deja vu. I, I'm just having this weird sense of deja vu having this conversation. Except it was about this weird simulator X something, maybe, <laughs> or maybe it was prepare prepare something. I don't remember. Um. So, hey, DCS is still free. You just got to pay for the modules. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and, and, yeah, and, and and there's just just a remark, and you know, and usually on those sims, things break, add-ons break from one version to the other. Microsoft is saying most won't. So most, yeah, exactly. So so they with their as far as I'm concerned, they're already ahead. Um, now, 
and 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 I know there's a really really good infographic um, that Sergio you've shared a couple of times on the social medias I've shared as well of the I think it was the Wikipedia um, yeah. tracking oh, the chart of, of yeah the chart Pop of that up now. Pop of, that of, up of now. <laughs> um, where basically um, every one to two years, all the way up to 2006, we were getting a new sim. And guess what? Most of your add-ons didn't work. Um, or if they did, they had to be extensively reworked. Um, and guess what? You didn't get a discount because you owned the last one. You had to buy it again. <laughs> um, so that's that. And then, you know, obviously there was a bit of a hiatus period between 2006 and twenty. 12, 13, uh, whatever it was, no, no, it was 2014, in, yeah. 2016, yeah. when Steam Edition came out, mm-hmm. where again, anything that worked for FSX, and this was the first time really that the Microsoft ESP sort of flight sim community didn't actually have to rebuy add ons because it was the same game, but with the acceleration. Yeah. Um, it was, yeah. It was, uh, so, yeah. so if you bought it for FSX, guess what? It worked for FSX Steam Edition. Yeah. Um, can we, so, can we and do, then. Can you do, do some quick math, Tristan? You did, sorry to interrupt. I didn't come, come here to math. math. I did I not come here that. to math. Let's, let, let, <laughs> let's, let's imagine. I, I, I will actually continue. Just want to pick up on what you said about buying, um, yeah. you know, every year. So, Microsoft, this version of Microsoft Flight Simulator was released in 2020. It is expected to last for four years. At the most, people paid one hundred and twenty dollars. Yep. Okay, so that's what thirty dollars a year. Yep. How many hours do these most of these people have in the sim? But as part of a ten-year sure plan. No, oh, I want to get. I want to. No, no, no. no. I want to get to that. I want to get to that later. We'll get, we'll get pin, that. pin, pin that. We one. could be pin here all that night with that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this yeah. is this is yeah. This is already people, to a bad episode. I. This is not the subscription model, but people are are complaining about thirty thirty dollars a year. A year. A, right? year. a thirty dollars a year. And and thank you for actually picking up where I was going with this because I would much rather. Okay, so so let, let's okay, so, so to continue that on, okay, so let's say let's assume everybody, and we know damn well they didn't, but let's assume everybody bought the premium deluxe edition, right? So I have they paid one hundred and twenty bucks, so they're getting thirty dollars. They're paying thirty dollars a year for that pro, for that product. Cool. Okay, um, let's have a look at um, X Plane. X Plane. So I'm sorry. Excuse me, Tristan. I'm sorry. I'm all I'm almost interrupted. With this. Just to just to add to that information, and they paid one hundred and twenty dollars with extra content, right? Because you're not yep. paying one hundred and twenty dollars just because you are paying yep. for more aircraft and, you and you more airports. for a bunch of extra, bunch of more airports. Right? Yep. Mm. No. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Yep. And so twenty you, up, twenty updates so far, and twenty more updates that everybody got, whether you paid sixty bucks or you paid one hundred twenty, everybody and, got all those updates. And the fortieth anniversary edition. Yep. Okay. So just to be clear, you pay one hundred and twenty. Just, 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 and I, and I think we talked about this in a previous episode that the world updates that we get every three to six months. I think it's every th- every three months. I think we average three, 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 yeah. three months. We'll yeah. Yeah. Let's let's average. You know what? Just for sake of argument, let's average every. Let's average, let's, average, let's say six. Six months. No, every three, six months. Less, it's less. It's less. Three months. It's about four okay, so, a year. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so okay, so four four times a year. Every time you're getting one of those world updates, you're getting four handcrafted airports. You're getting updated detailed um, terrain mesh, plus updated imagery for the part of the world, plus a bunch of POI packs, which essentially and a bunch of city cityscapes. Now, quick, my memory sort of going just scanning through my memory here on the marketplace. Each one of those airports, at minimum, would have set you back fifteen bucks. Um, at at absolute minimum, it would have set you back fifteen bucks. Um, each one of those um, that terrain mesh update that would have set you back another fifteen, probably twenty bucks. So let's say you know let's call it fifteen. Um, those five plus cities that you got in Photo Real for the city landscape packs, each of those are going to cost you fifteen bucks each. 
Um, and then you get a bunch of POIs scattered around all the rest of it, plus landing challenges, bush trips, and all the rest of it. So let's call that another thirty dollars. So you're up to what sixty, seventy five, hundred, over a hundred dollars worth of value from the Insim marketplace that you're getting for free every three months. So your hundred and twenty dollar or sixty dollar investment has got you a hell of a lot more than 60 bucks. Just put that in mind. Right, yeah. okay, derailed enough. <laughs> so, so you got that, okay? So you've paid 30 bucks a year to get all that. Let's have a look at Prepared. Prepared comes out, and I know there are people who are going to tell me that, oh, Prepared only costs 60 bucks. No, it doesn't. Prepared <laughs> costs $200. Uh-huh. Let's be clear about this. Um, Unless you are a K through 12 student, unless you please go back and read the licensing agreement that you fraudulently agreed to, um, that uh, prepared costs you 200 bucks and you get maybe two hot, you get a couple of hot fixes, maybe a half ass patch. Remember, I used to work for them um, that you know that you get a half ass patch. And then you've got to pay another two hundred bucks four years later. You don't get a bunch of handcraft airports. You don't get stuff. Oh, and by the way, all the stuff that used to work in the previous version of it, yeah, you got about a forty percent chance that that's going to work with the new version. <laughs> what's even crazier? Roll the dice, you, baby. <laughs> what, what's even crazier is that we're, we're not even talking about major versions. Sometimes. Things break in minor versions. For example, yep. 4.3 4, 4. 4. 4. 4. 4. to 4.4, shit yeah. went sideways. <laughs> yeah, minor versions. So inside the same version, yeah. shit breaks. Yeah. yeah. So just just remember that, folks. Okay. So that's the and then you've got X Plane where you're paying seventy dollars. I think was it seventy bucks? Sixty seven. Yeah. Sixty seven. Sixty seventy bucks. Yeah. And you're paying for that every four years. But again, but let's, let's, yeah, but let's, you get let's, the same let's, same thing. You get the partial, you know, the intermediary upgrades break things. You've got the you don't get a lot of new content in the in those intermediary yeah. patches. But hey, I got a Tomcat. But let let's be fair with Laminar Research. It's a lot better than prepared because you know even yes. though things break, they do vast amounts of advancement in the sim. I remember eleven came out. Mm-hmm. No VR. Eleven point two came out with VR, so they added yep. VR. You know, and yep. we had some, and then Vulcan and all of that. So, so, so there's, there's so actually when big when progress. they're doing when they're doing yeah. their, their 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 incremental patches, they are actually doing fairly significant updates yes, behind the scenes. Doing, but, so, but remember, let's be fair about that. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's be fair about that. But remember that so is Microsoft. They're not only doing all those major behind the scenes changes, such as yeah, adding yeah, yeah, VR. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're also doing the content updates as well. So, sure, okay, your upfront cost was a, was more with Microsoft Flight Simulator, absolutely, or potentially either either the same. You know, if you yeah. bought the base version of MSFS versus X Plane, um, or if you bought the top tier premium deluxe, you still mm-hmm. got all those additional content updates for free. You forgot. You Plus, forgot you one got thing. all the technical updates. You forgot you one forget? thing. Tristan. Yeah, we Helicopter. now have one. No, we have. We now have. Um, one new type of uh, of update for Microsoft Flight Simulation, Flight Simulator, which is Avion- the Avionics update. update. Yeah, so yep. we have a ah. third tier of updates. Mm. Right? Third tier updates coming through. So, yeah. so you know, you're getting all of this. You know, so, so that's the the three. Okay, well, DCS, as you said, Drew, DCS is. I don't know how you put it. Okay, you know what? To be fair, you're right. DCS. Okay, you know what? We'll talk about it. DCS. DCS base, is a whole different animal. It's a whole different so, kettle of fish. I mean, <laughs> just, we'll just, yeah, okay. Yeah, Maybe comparing the DCS <laughs> model with the Microsoft Flight Simulator model or even the x model for that matter isn't fair. It's probably easier to compare like their VR experiences than it is like the overall game experience, mm-hmm. which yeah. obviously Microsoft has made great leaps and bounds when it comes to VR. DCS has also made great leaps and bounds when it comes to vr both right now are in a really good place performance wise provided of course you have everything set up properly on your end x-plane 12 
Not so much. There's a reason why you haven't even seen it on my channel. It's because I can't get it to perform in VR the way I expect it to in yeah. order to show it off. But at least as far as the, um, the Sims themselves, the business model, yeah, DCS is like a whole different animal. And you talk about um, earlier people being programmed and so on and so forth. The DCS community has a completely different way of looking at it. We... I don't want to say we or they, you know, like to pit communities against each other, but the DCS community in general tends to sit back and laugh a lot at some of the shenanigans that are going on in like the Microsoft Flight Simulator community. But by the same token, it's more with, from a standpoint is it, is of it with the memes, we feel the pain. The meme, is it with the meme <laughs> of first time? <laughs> yeah. Two exactly more weeks. Two more weeks. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> So, but okay, you're talking so, about a sim that's free for its base, you know, package. Yeah, you could actually but, fly but, DCS and you get what two maps, two planes, so on and so forth. And then, of course, you, you get, get all the modules. For free? I thought you, I thought yeah, you Mariana's is now included as a free okay. map. So, Mariana's but, but and yeah, uh, so Caucasus. You, right. So, you're limited to, to regional areas, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, so. But DCS, as you said, like you're paying and per module. No so every time you want. And there no helicopters. No helicopters. There's no default helicopters. What you say? Heli Mafia, you've got to get on that. Chop, chop. Um, that's right. So, <laughs> so, so, okay. So, so that's the, that's the backdrop to here, right? Okay. So, so let's have a look at that again. You know, so, so you said you're paying, you've paid $30 per year for Microsoft Flight Simulator to get hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of free content updates plus all the behind the scenes base content evolution and improvements all of that for free over the course of four years Prepared, people like to complain about, about and say that a sobo is not fixing yeah and we're not, like, not even talking about servers and bandwidth and all that stuff, right? Because that, yeah, that is exactly, exactly. So, so and, and again, rightly or wrongly, Microsoft is a Okay, it's it's not exclusively online, but basically, if you want to get the most out of the sim, you are going to be online. Um, and those servers hate to tell you this, everybody at home, but they cost money. They're not cheap. Um, so you've got streaming bandwidth, you've got servers that are running, you know, globally around the you know twenty four seven. So putting that in mind, yeah, you know, keeping that in mind, if I have, if I have the choice. Now, okay, okay, you know what? Actually, before I get to that point, let's now take a let's 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 move out of the flight simulation world for a minute, and let's look at another title which relies on always online, which gives which has regular content updates, um, and is playable by people all over the world. Let's look at World of Warcraft, including simmers. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 for the alliance. Anyway, um, okay. <laughs> I've still never so, played World of Warcraft, by the way, ever. Uh, it's nice. Oh, ever. It's it's nice. So, okay, so let's so let's have a look at World of Warcraft. So, World of Warcraft. I have a um, helicopter in World of Warcraft, so. <laughs> don't you have to be? Don't you have? I got an airship in Tamriel. <laughs> I created. I created. Um, like a character once just to get the helicopter. In just, you did, 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 didn't you? Right. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So you've actually no, it's absolutely expected of you for, as the dawn of the helicopter mafia. It's one hundred percent accepted. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so let's have a look at this. So you've got you know, you've got an online community. You know, you've got a you know a, a full world where open sim, you know, open world where you can go and pick flowers. You can go and beat enemies to a pulp. You can do quests. You can do structured story. You've got all this different thing. There is regular content being put out. Um, where there are different seasons where you get multiple free updates, you know, including new dungeons, uh, new content, new story. Um, however, you have to purchase each expansion, which comes out, what, every two years? Yeah, yeah. About, about every two More years? So you're paying about... A month, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's call it two years. So every two yeah. years, you know, you, you, you're paying... Sixty, seventy dollars for a new set of experiences, whether they be you know, that include story, quests, dungeons, all the rest of it. But on top of that, paying that every two years, guess what? You're also paying monthly subscription yep. cost. So you are paying 
uh, I can't remember what it is at the moment, but I think it's like it's a, a, it's a minimum 13, of fifteen. Yeah, 13, yeah, it's a minimum of about yeah, it's, 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 a, it's about fifteen dollars a month. Wait, um, they is what still you're have a subscription model in this day and age? Yep. 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 Um, well, I guess so, CSO does too, but it's optional for them. So, hmm. I mean, wow, well, yeah, okay. So, but wow, well, still six, I think, hmm. probably not as successful as they were like 20 years ago, but, or you know, 10, 15 years ago. But either way, you're paying $15 a month to access the server, to access your character, to be able to do your dailies and get the content. But if you want to play the new story, and if you want to play the new content, you're still having to buy every two years. Now, during that two year window between expansions, you get a lot of free content updates for your $60. So again, that $60 over the course of two years, that's $30 a year. You're getting, you know, you get what's released at launch plus all these extra updates that come through. But you're also paying a $15 a month subscription fee. Now, if I have to pay $120 bucks every four years to be able to fly with the latest technology, the latest content on you know, some of what is quite frankly, in my opinion, the it, I'm going to I'm totally going to say it. It's the great, it's the best flight sim out there for my experience because I'm a I'm an I'm an all rounder. You know, I, I I know that that the DCS and and X plane are far better at specific helicopter dynamics. I am very well aware that prepared is the best at system simulations. Um, but my overall flying experience, virtual flying experience. Microsoft Flight Simulator beats all of them hands down because it's it allows me Mark to do balance. what I want to do. It's balanced. It is a exactly. It is a balanced sim. Yeah. Now, if I have to pay 120 bucks once every four years to get access to the latest improvements, the latest tech, and still have all my content from the previous iterations, you know, most likely give, get, being given an, an assurance that they are almost definitely going to keep working with minimal to no changes on my part or adjustments on my part, and I don't have to pay a subscription fee, I'm sold. I have no problem paying 120 bucks every four years. And the key point of that is goes back to what we were just saying before. All that free content that we're getting every, every three months, those servers that are streaming all that um, satellite imagery data to my system, those servers that allow me to fly online with my friends, my, 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 my friends, my fellow simmers, to be able to stream to all of you lovely folks um, on Twitch and be able to, you know, see my house from here. Um, damn freaking straight I'm going to do that because at the end of the day, Microsoft is a business They've got to make money as well, or else, guess what? It ain't going to last. Yeah. Very true. Microsoft Very true. Crap, and there we go. Yeah. The so, there. I mean, ultimately, it's going to come down to, like I said, the big communication thing. I mean, bottom line is they know they've got a good thing going. Otherwise, they wouldn't be investing all this money, all this time and resources into further iterations of it. And, you know, there, I know there have been a lot of people out there that are like, oh, well, we've just been beta testers this whole time. 2024 is going to be the real deal. I, no. I hate to tell you this, if, if no. you're if you're playing if you're playing X Play or prepared, <laughs> guess what? You're a paying beta tester. Sorry. And we won't even sorry. get into DCS. <laughs> we won't even get into DCS because they know they invented that lie. No, but seriously, uh, it, it really is going to come down to the whole communication aspect. And I know with uh, Flight Sim Expo coming, that is going to be a massive opportunity for both Microsoft and Asobo to, you know, get all the ducks in a row, set all the records straight, and basically assuade any fears that uh, the community has. And from my understanding, uh, two of our illustrious grumpy simmers are going to be there. I know I will not. I'll be on my little hermit island here, as I <laughs> typically <laughs> am. I already, I already had my trip out of the house for this year. Um, 
I'm done. I won't be at Flight Sim Expo. But I happen to know two other gentlemen who would be there, and I'm going to throw it down to you to make sure that a Sobo and Microsoft, uh, how do we put it, uh, do the right thing? Is that a good way of putting okay, it? Okay, so, so who, are, who are you going? So, so by the, okay, so obviously the cat's out of the bag, folks. Um, as I, 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 I didn't think it was going, but yes, I am going to be at Flight Sim Expo this year. Uh, so at, uh, Sergio is super excited because he's yep. got now a fellow co-conspirator to help him with his uh, professional nagging. Um I'll be at so, home yes, watching I, from the internet. So, so I folks, wish I could uh, send you, are... you all. I wish I could send you all with like purple hats or whatever. Just like mob the entire place with purple hats. <laughs> Tell them totally Bell Geo sent you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so folks, uh, if you are going to be at Flight Team Expo, uh, please look out for Sergio and myself. We look forward to meeting many of you. Uh, and uh, yeah. of course, yeah, please, please don't be a stranger to us. We love meeting all fellow members of our community. Uh, and yes, I will be there. There are some links down below for us and our times there. So I look forward to seeing everybody there. And I'm looking forward to catching up with my dear friend Sergio in person for the first time since 2020. 20? 20? No, yeah, 2019. 2019, yeah. 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 Jesus. Was Seattle. Was, yeah. Was, was, was it Seattle? Last time, yeah. last time we were in this, yeah, it was in Seattle. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, it, yeah, it, it's, but it's just such a, a, a big thing for us. And, and I think that it's really important that, that we as a community g get our heads out of our ass for a start and realize that at the end of the day, these companies need to make money. Um, and because, and it's not because we're lining the greedy pockets of the greedy capitalists. No, it's so we can, so they can pay developers to keep giving us the stuff that we want. Yeah. Um, it's, because, it's a, yeah. And, and, and it's, I remember, it's Sergio, reason. yeah, it's, it's self reason. Yeah. If, if you want this community to continue to grow and improve and be better and do cooler stuff, guess what? You're going to have to, pony up some cash and i would yeah. much rather cough up 120 bucks every four years uh which again as we've just put we've just been discussing that is the history of flight simulation um is what we do that's what we do that's how we fund the future um so i would much rather do that than have to pay a subscription service so just just think about that before you go off half angry now again i want to clarify this by saying we don't actually know yet if this is going to be a, you know, what it's going to look like for an update. We've been told, yes, it's a brand new sim, but we don't know. We haven't been given a price or anything. We haven't, as been, of we haven't been given a price point. We haven't been told if there's going to be different additions. We haven't been told if there will be a discount for uh, existing owners of uh, 2020. We, we don't know. And again, hopefully at Flight Sim Expo, we will have a lot of these questions answered. But as I said, even if assuming worst case scenario, we are not going to get a discount. I don't care. I would happily, I am happily going to pony up 120 bucks for that. And again, Sergio, I, I, I recall going back to a comment that I remember you discussing when, when we were still dealing with the aftermath of the announcement of uh, of 2020. Um, God, even I'm calling it that now. Um, when we were living <laughs> with the aftermath of, of the announcement of it, where where and we talked about the in -sim store, where I remember very distinctly, you 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 talked about how we need we needed to make sure that. While, yes, we should support all third-party developers and buy things from, and it's great to buy things directly from their own stores, I remember distinctly that you made a really good point about why we should also consider buying from the InSim marketplace. Yeah, to support, to continue supporting Microsoft Flight Simulator because Microsoft gets a cut from, from those sales. So it is important to buy from the marketplace as well because that will tell Microsoft, well, on one on one side, it will inject money into the project itself. On the other hand, it will also send a message to people that make decisions, which is not York, is not Sebastian. It's people... It's the faceless, it's the faceless bean counters. Uh, the suit. Yeah, the suit. So it, yep. it sends them a sign that, you know, the project... Is, the project is profitable... And uh, it should continue. And it's actually it, it, this this announcement for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, and it, it, it touched it briefly before uh, Tristan, is actually a good sign if we think about it. 
Microsoft is willing to invest on a new release. Microsoft is willing to put um, marketing money, marketing strategy, um, to pay whoever is working on these new features. Um, something that is very interesting, you also told, mentioned it before, I think it was you, or I don't remember who, who, which one of them, I think it was you, Tristan. We have helicopters that were made by third-party developers. And this is, this is a strategy that I heard Microsoft say that they were they were pursuing. I heard this from Microsoft personally. Mm. They were saying that it would make it would make sense to them to get a Zobo to spend time on building aircraft when we have third party developers that can do that, and the Zobo can focus on the core of the on sim. The core sim and improve exactly. it for everybody. Yes, mm. exactly. exactly. Mm. That, that is that is the strategy. That's that's the strategy that Microsoft is following. And if you see. All the latest releases, including the 40th anniversary edition, with the exception of the Gimbal Cabri G2, the little helicopter, which was developed by Azobo while they yeah. were developing fl- helicopter flight dynamics because they used it yeah. for they, they, they needed They needed something the to do the testing. They needed a good base. They needed a base plane. Right. That, that was developed by Azobo, but everything else was developed. Every other aircraft were developed by third-party developers. And I am assuming the aircraft, the new aircraft we saw in the trailer were also developed by third-party developers. And that is the strategy. That is what Microsoft is following right now. So it makes it, it makes completely, completely it, sense. It's exactly. sharing the wealth, again, too, because, you know, you're not only you know, promoting the new sim, but you're also promoting the third-party developers who are obviously going to be getting paid. Exactly, and, and we've already, and we've we've already seen it. Like we've we've already seen it. Like you know, um, the the fortieth anniversary aircraft. They were all almost, yeah. As, as you said, Sergio, apart from the the Calibri, they're, they're all done by third party devs that were brought in. Um, yeah, the Airbus by Inibuild, yeah. the Bell Four yeah, Seven by Nemeth Designs. We had you know the, the DC three by uh, yeah. Airplane Heaven. So. Mm-hmm. It, and and that is and and again it go again circular arguments here all over the place is that it shows that that the production team is very aware of the impact the community has and can have and how they can impact it the other way around, so they are getting them involved to to get the most out of uh, to 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 give to get the most out of the product to give the best they possibly can to the community. Um, so, so yeah, I, I I agree, and I think that this is a good step forward. And again, I, I would rather see the team at Sobo working on core content updates to working on feature updates for doing all the things they're already doing and be able to, to take the burden yep. off them. Yeah, to take the burden of of aircraft design uh, and and manufacture off them to allow to enable them to focus on improving the simulator experience for everybody. Um, I mean, the fact that we're getting tornadoes uh, that can naturally occur based on the correct climactic conditions, that, that, that shows that the weather engine they've got has advanced even more than it already has. So, you know, I, I'm super excited to, to see what the future holds for that. So we've got um, hurricane yeah. hunters in the sim right now. Pretty soon we'll have tornado chasers. What a time to be I mean, alive! We just, I, I just need somebody to do. Okay, so hey, hey, Microsoft, you're listening. Find a third party dev to do a P3 Orion, so we can do the Noah, uh, Kermit, and Miss Piggy. That would be sweet. Um, but it, as, as we sort of uh, get to sort of round out the here, one of the things that I want to address here because we did sort of we we address uh, many of the community concerns, uh, and we've talked about you know the, the the sim, we've talked about that it's a new sim, we've talked about the fact that you know our add-ons will keep working, um, and a lot of the concerns that that we've also we also share again like we are we we are part of the community, you know we are we are not apart from everybody who's watching this. We are very we have concerns as well. Um, but the one thing that I wanted to pick up, or that I really want to pick up, that, that I kept seeing over and over and over and over, a, apart from, I'm not buying anything until the Unknown Matters work, um, was the, they said they support this for 10 years. <laughs> oh, my favorite subject. So The 10-year so, plan. So I, <laughs> the 10-year plan. So, so I want to clarify this. If you go back to the original statements and the original announcements, it, what didn't act? They didn't. 
and I'm, 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 I can feel the hate already coming into the comments here. Um, they didn't actually say they'd support it for 10 years. They said they had a 10-year roadmap. 10-year plan. And it wasn't. And again, it was not literal 10 years. It was not literal 10 years. And York has said that more than once. Yep. One of the times he said that to me in an interview, I have that on camera. I have that on record. He said that it was not 10 years was a figure of speech. It was a way of them saying that they were in this yeah. for the long oh. run. Yeah. Right. And they never said that they were going to support Microsoft plus this version that we have right now for 10 years. That was never said. And I've seen people saying that they are going, they, they were, we should sue them and it's a, a contract breach. Which contract? Did you, did you, did you, did you, did you actually read the EULA when you clicked I accept? I mean, <laughs> come on, let, let's be, yes, there was a mention of 10 years, but that was not to say that they were going to support that version of the sim for 10 years. And York was very clear, you know, he even introduced that, um, that claim that, you know, it was just a matter of speech by saying that, People back in 2006, 2007, or 2008, and I don't remember which, which, which year it was, but people back when, um, when the Hayes studio closed, you know, you, you, you were saying that you could imagine the panic and people were scared because all of a sudden they were going to be yeah. abandoned, which is true. We were abandoned back then by, by the decisions of Microsoft um, uh, for whatever reason. Uh, you know, it happened. It's part. It's part. It's part of the history, um, and and yeah, New York said that they didn't want to do this to the community. Now they didn't want to repeat that piece of history, that you know people had to go through, and it was really scary, and it was really it was really confusing as well back then. So they, what he meant was that they are in this in the franchise in this project as a whole, not Microsoft Flight Simulator yeah. 2020. Well, 2020, you know, the, the franchise version. itself, the franchise as a yeah. whole. It's, yeah, it's the franchise. The they, he, they, they have, as I said, and, and when I talked to York, it was about they have a roadmap, they have a belief, and again, it was as you said, Sergio, it was a figure of speech to give, to try and reassure the community that they are going to be here for us for a long time. They're not going to and. Again, use my experience, my experience with flight. Not announce something in Feb, not release something in February, and drop us like a sack of shit by April. For um, all we know, the ten-year plan could actually just simply be the length of time that the contract has with Microsoft before you know they could either renew it or whatever. Yeah, for example, uh, yeah, we, we, there's, we, there's we don't one know, thing, but yeah, but there's there, there's one thing that I have to admit. That I I also kind of fell into that um, that expression back then for a couple of reasons. One of them was that they were very they were kind of adamant when they say, "Okay, we have a ten year plan." Okay, and you guys heard the same that I did, so they said that. And then there was something else that kind of threw me off, and that I I now have the feeling that it was probably planned to be the way that I'm going to tell you right, right now, but things may have changed for some reason. You already said something, Tristan, in the beginning of this video, which is, what is the name of the current version of the sim? It's Microsoft, Microsoft Flight. Flight Simulator. It's not Microsoft Flight Simulator 11 or 12. It's not Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. That is the name that a community put it. The sim is called Microsoft Flight Simulator. And the fact that it doesn't have a number in conjunction with the fact that they were saying that they had this 10-year plan for, for the, the product made me believe at the time that we were going to have this 
versionless software. This versionless like how, product. Like how Windows 10 was going to be the last version of Windows? Exactly. So it, was going, it was supposed to be just called Windows, right? And it would just get updates. And I thought they were doing the same with Microsoft Flight Simulator. So there's no version. They will keep updating. What we have right now, it's just yep. miles, light years ahead of anything else in the market. So they don't have, they don't have to, use, to do a huge amount of work to have this sim fresh in those 10 years. I, I can see myself playing, you know, using the sim as it is visually in 10 years. I have no problem. I have used worse. <laughs> right, we all have these words. <laughs> I than that. still yeah. remember keyboard yeah. and mouse with square pixel high-rise building windows of New York. And, I still remember even, that. Yeah, and even P3D and other themes, yeah, we can make them look very pretty, but, you know, out of the shelf, they are not that good looking. So I, I could yeah. see myself in 10 years, you know, and th this was three years ago. So we have seven more years. Do I see myself seven, in seven years? With that, those visuals, yeah, I have no problem with that whatsoever. It, the, the visuals are, are really great. So I, I think that, at least for me, it kind of threw me off back then. And that's why I was even more surprised when Drew sent me that link. You know, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, I mean, you know, this doesn't go hand in hand with the image, with the picture no, I, I have I, in my head. I, I'm I, telling you, it's I, all I, the community. I, I, I the community it's... caused that. <laughs> so, <laughs> Otherwise, so, it was going to stay just Yeah, I, well, actually, Probably. actually, you know, I, I think I actually have a counterpoint, and, and, and this is something that, that I've been, that I've discussed with, with many members of the communities, of, 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 the, of a couple of communities as well, is that I actually think that part of what we, we've talked about multiple times during these video, this this video about um, you know the the handling of PR and the handling of content announcements and stuff like that. So I, I and I actually think that and and this this point was this discussion was had uh, uh, over in my community Discord and 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 initially I was a bit skeptical, but the more I thought about it, I think I think that there might be something in that because just like you, Sergio, I fell into the same thing because I, I figured because it came out the same time that Windows 10 was going to be the last version of Windows. You're just going to get continuous rolling updates from now on. It will just it, eventually they'll drop the 10. It'll just be Windows, uh, and then suddenly we had Windows 11. Um, so so I, I I had the same thing as you. I thought, yep, this is just going to be continuously updated, improved yep. content, all, and all the rest of it. Um, but. but Razor from my community raised a, a really interesting point that what does a new product allow you to do? Hmm. It allows you to make a hype train. It allows you to present a video at an Xbox showcase mm -hmm. and say, new title coming out. So suddenly you're not just talking about an update, you're talking about a brand new thing. and as much as you know, as it, I love MSFS, I think it's great. I think it's a great all round sim. We've all talked about on many previous episodes how the initial launch definitely could have gone better, um, and how it wasn't feature complete when it launched in 2020. Um, I, I would dare say that we are close to feature complete now. But mm -hmm. they've delivered on the vast majority, if not all, of what their initial promises were. Um, some things definitely could do with a lot more polish than others, but the the you know we are essentially feature complete right now. Can they improve? Yes, but we're feature complete now. But that's three years down the track. So, from a launching perspective, when it first hit the market in 2020. Uh, and again, this ties back into what I was saying before about giving people something to do. It was once the initial hype wore off of, hey, I can find, I can see my house from here. Um, there was a lot of people who got lost and went, well, now what? What do I do? Where do I go? Why do I fly? Um, and they looked to, and then those people might consider looking at influences and see what they were doing. <laughs> and um, not naming any particular streamer names here, but the not insignificant number of those streamers and so-called influencers that were present at the um, 
the preview event, basically, apart from the first couple of days, didn't stream Microsoft Flight Simulator for about three to six months because it guess what it didn't have an airliner in it that was uh, up to up to their standards. So we won't even get into the conversation piece about how they were falsely advertising what they were streaming on Twitch. But anyway, moving on. Um, so what these people were doing was basically saying, well, it was, it's kind of okay, but it's kind of boring. It's kind of shit because it doesn't have what I want to fly in. And unfortunately, that then became there was a marked decrease in the people who were flying Microsoft Flight Simulator because it was like, oh, well, you know, what do I do now? And the, I'm just going to straight out come out and say it, the um, the study level airliner uh, <laughs> is not available in the sim right now. So I wondered if we could go an entire episode without saying those two words. <laughs> what, you know, what, oh, come on. What? Tie your smoke. <laughs> Exactly. They, all, yeah, so these, these influencers, <laughs> these influencers that don't know how to actually fly an airplane, that only know how to program an autopilot. No offense to everybody who enjoys flying airliners. If that's what you enjoy, good luck to you. Um, you know, I I salute you. Uh, I can't do it. Um, but the the problem is, is that that those people who that is their preferred way of simming. And again, no offense to people who that's your preferred way of simming. Let's be honest, there was nothing for you in MSFS for the first six, eight months. There wasn't enough in there until Fly-By-Wire came along to do the mods for the A320 uh, and until PMDG came along with the their, their aircraft. So if you ask a number of those fly. pilots, they, they will tell you now that's pretty much still all there is in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I've been seeing that come up a lot online from the airliner crowd trying to justify why they would want to get into MSFS 2024 when, you know, there's really only, what, two PMDG aircraft or however many airliners, did, did, two D-level airliners and so on. Did you notice how many people stopped complaining about the release, the, the upcoming release of 2024 when PMDG put their statement out supporting it? Oh, did I? I even commented on it this morning. Yeah. yeah. Did you know that? That was, I'm sorry, that was, that. Mm. <laughs> anyway. Somebody so, has to but, do the but, damage but, control. If it's not going to be Microsoft and the Sobo, then it might as well be PMDG. Yeah, fair enough. So, so essentially, but get back to the point is that I think one of the reasons why they're doing this is, uh, or potentially doing this, and 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 again, as I said before, so I had the same idea as you did that this was just yeah. going to be a continuously updated thing, but because of that, I'm not going to say bad launch, but definitely feature incomplete launch that MSFS had. This allows them to have a full fledged relaunch, and not just as a Hey, there's a piece of DLC because, and and again, from a from a marketing PR perspective, what am I going to be? What what? Or as a as a non as a non regular simmer, am I going to be excited about? Oh, there's a new piece of DLC out for that. Oh, that thing that that streamer I watched says wasn't really that good. It's new DLC. Do I really want to bother with it? And the game core game was sounded like it was pretty yeah. crap four years ago. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to skip it. Versus. Oh my God! There's a new sim coming out where I can I can build a tower. I can go rescue people off a mountain. I can go be an airline captain. Which one is going yeah. to be more effective? I, I and, agree with you. I agree. Well, that's why yeah, I so, said that. I think that's why I, I said that. I think they changed their plans meanwhile because mm-hmm. of that thing where. The name didn't have a version first, so I agree with you, Tristan. I think there was a change, there was a shift in in the communication, and they had to yep. do it. Yeah. As so long as it. my heat blur in India Fox Teco F14 Tomcat works in Flight Simulator 2024, they will hear zero complaints from me. And as long as I can still do it in this, that's all I care about. Hey, uh, hey, Microsoft and the Sobo, if you're listening, you know, just 
take note of that, please. And yep. hey, and by the way, India Fox Echo, good work. We love your work. Uh, anyway, okay. So look, I think uh, that was do a good point. Like just, just, yeah, that was a good point. The last one that you said, Tristan. I, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I realized that something had changed. Um, but I didn't see it from that perspective. That is a good. That is a very interesting perspective, and pre, I think it may be pretty much on point. Yeah, and, and as I said, it was something that when when it was first being discussed with me, I, I didn't see it. And then the more I thought about it, I've gone, you know, what having worked in sales and marketing myself in a previous life, one hundred percent, I get it. If I'm telling you that, hey, this is an upgrade, you're going to go. You, you're you're not going to you're not going to listen to the to the new features of the upgraded device. You're going to go back to what was the original device like. If the original device was shit, then you don't care if they've made it you know god tier excellent. You're just going to be stuck on the memory of how crap the old version was. But if I tell you this is brand new, never been seen before, it just happens to come from the same you know manufacturer. Then you you're going to go. You're actually going to listen, and 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 you're going to be interested, and you're going to take in the information that's available. So and to yeah, be I, fair, if you think about this community, if you build something as an update, the prevailing thought right now, just based on the experiences that we've had for the last few months, or actually from the last few years, the prevailing thought on updates is, oh God, here we freaking go again. This is going to break my entire sim. And and let's be honest. And Asobo's having to been having to deal with that, rightly or wrongly. They've been having to deal with the with a bunch of self entitled members of our community. Not afraid to say it. Um, that say Asobo broke my sim again. They that's because they keep ripping the us off improved. for months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's yeah, you know, completely ignoring all the amazing stuff that they've given us and improved mm -hmm. upon, and you know worked with third party devs like working title to give us far better avionics you know worked with you know with third party devs to give us um better third party you know better models you know worked with you know whatever companies or black shark ai to give us improved algorithms you know ignoring all of that to simply focus on it broke my add-on that the developer hasn't had a chance to get out of bed yet and realize that something broke and they need to fix So yeah, as I said, I, I just I'm 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 just hopeful that um that that yeah this puts in a bit of perspective for everybody with the the wide ranging discussion that that we've had today. So I suppose it, it, it's a it's a to to round out um uh this 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 uh this this two part uh episode to tell you why the sky isn't falling. Um, I'll throw back to to the Don of the Helicopter Mafia. What the closing? Any closing thoughts from you, sir? Yes, well, um, I just I just want to say that if things don't go the way that um, we are thinking they are going, I'm going to be disappointed. We, like you said, we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. We can speculate, and I'm I'm very excited because all the speculation in my head is just absolutely brilliant. So if that doesn't go the way I think it's going to be, it's going to be disappointing because I, I sometimes I think people. Just because they don't see us bashing Azobo and Microsoft, they believe we are a bunch of fools and idiots that don't know any better and just fall, blindly follow um, these companies for whatever reason. It's not a matter of blinding following companies. It's just a matter of, I'm not an idiot following blindly. I just don't want to be an idiot constantly being toxic and negative. There's a different, it's a different kind of, and I'm a different kind of idiot. <laughs> That's, let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. Sergio um, Costa, 2023. I'm a different kind of idiot. <laughs> exactly. I, I have to do one, 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 one of those shirts for me. I'm okay with being an idiot, but I'm, uh, but you know, but uh, if, if, if I have to be but an you're idiot. But you are an idiot. Yeah, you're, and you I'll are be idiot. You're, 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 you are the, you are the flight sim community's uh, helicopter mafia don idiot. So idiot, yes, yes. But at least I'm, I'm the kind of idiot that I'm comfortable with. So I'm, I'm comfortable being that kind of idiot. And, and I think you guys 
I'm not calling you idiots, but you are the same in that perspective. That you are. Oh, I know not... I'm an idiot. I, I I know I'm an idiot. I fully embrace I, it. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, but <laughs> no, but I I know you. I know you guys shared that vision with me, and we are not usually negative towards things. We try to see things from all perspectives and be neutral and think about these things. And that's what I'm doing. Will I be disappointed if this ends up being a shit show? Yeah, of course. Am I going to be happy if these things go sideways and all of a sudden we have a shitty product? Yeah. I'm going to be, you know, pissed <laughs> to start with. Uh, but I think Earth will continue to revolve around the sun and we'll, I, I'll find a way to continue to fly my helicopters in the sim. So it's just, we'll just keep pushing forth. Mr. Well, I don't know. From my perspective, first off, those of you who are watching that you know are familiar with my channel will have noticed that you haven't seen any content on the channel at all. That's been a deliberate hiatus that I have gone on for the time being. And mainly for, you know, my own personal reasons and so on. Life has been pretty hectic with work and so on and so forth. Plus, you know, even though I'm still living a hermit life, I did have some rather significant good things happen as far as, you know, my family, my personal life. So I actually had to attend to a lot of that stuff. But the other reason is there was coming a time where between Microsoft Flight Simulator, DCS, X-Plane, and yeah, I'll even throw Prepared in there, even though Prepared really hasn't been on my hard drive for a while. You start to get tired of doing the same thing. You start to get a little bit burnt out. I mean, it was getting to the point where, and don't get me wrong, I'm forever grateful to them for doing this, but I have developers like sending me stuff every week you know, expecting that, you know, there's going to be some kind of a preview or review or first look or whatever you want to term it. So pretty much all of that has been on a hiatus. And it's even gotten as far as I haven't even recorded any new Skyrim VR episodes. I know that's pretty much been holding the channel down. Other people are kind of pissed off about it and have dropped off. Oh, well, see ya. Bye. But I want for everyone to know a lot of this stuff that's going on right now couldn't happen at a better time both for me and for the community itself i think a lot of us whether it be content creators or you know just people who are flying in general are kind of at that point where we're asking ourselves okay what what do we do now and i see the changes that are coming with microsoft flight simulator you know some of the things that have been happening with like dcs world and whatnot the new sinai map and you know all the various aircraft that are coming that are still in two weeks two more weeks phase i see all of that coming as kind of like the next step the next phase the the turning point right now i think at the time of this recording with flight sim expo not yet happening we're probably going to see a lot more boom flowers come out of that i'm hoping that we will see a lot more uh mind-blowing news and so on come out of it and yes i am going to get back into the whole video thing both flight simming as well as doing you know my old skyrim thing or whatnot yep but I think we all need to kind of step back just a little bit and realize what's going on here. The entire thing is about to get kicked into the next notch. So before everybody starts, you know, breaking out those pitchforks and those torches and, you know, before you start taking to Facebook and MFing this and MFing that and whatever, just kind of rein it back in for a second here and realize that Traditionally, at this point in time in the year is when we get the major flight sim changing news. The yep. bulk of it is going to happen next week. Mark my words on that. And yep. then, of course, nice. I'll start coming in with the videos again, and I'll opine my yep. two cents as I typically do when I'm um, doing shenanigans and whatnot. So you can expect all of that to come back. But right now, just... Take a breather, go to your own personal tropical island here, and just watch the show because it's really about to kick off. Yeah. Yeah. And 
and I suppose for like last thought thoughts for me. So obviously this is the first video in six months on my channel. Uh, apologies to everybody that it's been so long, but um, as you can probably see behind me, things are changed a bit for me uh so uh again where I, are I, I you had... broadcasting from sir so i i sir uh so that's one that's well that that is the reason why i have been gone for so long is because uh it's a quite a bit of a challenge to move from australia to america uh so i am now broadcasting to you from a basement somewhere in North America. Uh, no, it is not a nuclear bunker. It's fine. I'm not trying to do a full out <laughs> role play here. Um, but yeah, no, so, so obviously, and, and much like, much like, much like uh, Drew and, and your life is obviously there, there's been a lot of change in my personal life. Uh, so with, with my personal and professional life taking uh, a number of different changes and turns uh, over the last sort of uh last little while uh but yeah i i left australia uh in january uh and i have been trying to set myself up in my new homeland uh but it is taking a bit longer than i had uh than i had planned i had i'd hoped to be being back and to to have come back to content creation and more regular video appearances uh some uh some some weeks or months ago but uh things as you can tell you know li literally i am literally building my space right now um so you know any donations to help paint the walls would be great <laughs> uh, but might uh, i in, suggest in... an island team man go with the <laughs> island team I, I, oh, I got the island team. uh so yeah so obviously uh but and it was really ironic because um I, I, like literally as soon as I signed off and like, it, it, like all my stuff got put in shipping containers. I, like I'm literally filming this from a laptop in the basement right now. Um, so I don't have my rigs and all my kits set up. My stuff's still in containers and whatever. And it's like, as soon as that happened, we had the scandal with bloody captain Sim and the model and then deliveries and then doing it's that. And then we had flight mm -hmm. sim.to and that shit show, uh, which is, by the way, for anybody who uh, of it, who may or may not know, as the, I produce a lot of uh, delivery content and mission content, you may have noticed that all my content is no longer available at FlightSim.to uh, because I was like, yeah, no, nah, sorry, trust is burnt, I'm out. Um, Particularly after they tried to, yeah. Anyway, um, that's a whole nother video. So, so we we'd been discussing in our grumpy in our grumpiness about all these topics that we we're going to get grumpy about, and I was lamenting just the just a few days ago about you know why all these you know the, all these things and all these scandals happen while I don't have anything set up to record, and then bloody Microsoft go and drop this boom flower <laughs> on us, and I'm like, okay, you know what I did. Half finished basement or not? Basement. <laughs> Half finished basement or not? I don't care. We need to talk about this. So here we are. We we have the next episode of the three grumpy symbols. The next two episodes is obviously end up being. So uh, yeah, there we go. So yes, uh, I have moved. Uh, I am so hopefully um, it won't be too much longer before I'm back to um, more regular content updates. But please don't push me. That uh, please don't expect anything in the short short to medium term i'm hoping to be back in the next couple, next couple of months but in the meantime as i said uh i am going to be at flight sim expo uh by a last minute uh change of of, of plans of a few things so I'm i hope you all have an absolute blast there again i'm so sorry that i can't be there you know circumstances this beyond my control next but, year uh, next next year next year yes. you're going to make a commitment to, yes. to, to the two of us <laughs> and all the audience that you'll be there next year but no, and all I, I have to I do, do is convince that... them to have it in Pittsburgh, and that'll make my life even better. I'll come in my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know. We're, well, Sergio, we know we'll crash. Um, so, folks, sure. uh, I do hope to. I do hope to see uh, many of you at uh, Flight Sim Expo, uh, and uh, make sure you keep an eye out for uh, Sergio. You will not be able to miss him because he will be nagging everybody and asking them. Just look for the pile of developers running Just away. Look. Guarantee. Running, the back of that pile if, if you is Sergio. If you you can see if you see a developer running and screaming, just look at the direction the they're running direction. away from, and and Sergio is going to be there I'll chasing be there. them down, chasing them. Down. But no, but seriously, uh, I'm really looking forward to, to catching up with you again, Sergio, and I'm yeah, looking forward to meeting all all the viewers here. So 
with that, folks, and oh, that tell them all out this. Belgio sent you. Yes, all of them. Yes, yes, we tell yeah. them we, Belgio we to, sent you, especially we'll the need VR to get people. Lots of applause. <laughs> We're going to have some VR guys over there. I think Climax yeah, yeah, is going to be there. So mm. it's good. I, I expect to see videos. I expect to see pictures. If Svetlana is there, tell her I said hi. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> On that last. So, uh, so, uh, looking for, we'll have to see if, uh, if ATY have got Heidi um, at their booth. Uh, so anyway, with that, we are going to round this out. Thank you so much for joining us. And I do want to say an extra special thank you to both of my three Grumpy Simmers, uh, my fellow two Grumpy Simmers. So thank you very much to Sergio from helisimmer.com. Thank you, guys. <sighs> yeah, it's 2 a.m. I'm sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, I'm thirsty. Uh, and thank you to the purple hat aficionado, uh, VR maestro, uh, Mr. Bel- Drew Belgiode. I'm trying to make it do like a virtual Cheshire cat thing where it's just like data. <laughs> <laughs> it's not go. doing it now it's not doing it now it needs to do it so all this left you need, is you need your mind. bottle whatever it is that you were using oh yeah that's you right need, yeah you need a vtuber vtuber model um so folks don't forget to uh head over to helisimmer.com for all your latest flight simulation but especially helicopter news and don't forget to tune into his youtube channel and of course to uh mr Drew belgio's youtube channel for some great upcoming adventures in skyrim and flight simulation and while you're here maybe give this channel a bit of a, a like and a follow as well yeah. that'd be kind of cool oh, right, and, folks. and uh, no promises but uh, perhaps stay tuned we haven't talked about it tristan but we may do something perhaps on your channel when we are at flight sim expo that's also that's always a possibility would be nice well, yeah check in i'm I mean, you never know. Keep an eye out. You never know. Yeah. Actually, yeah. You know, every, one of the traditions that I've had going to uh, Flight Sim Expo or Flight Sim Con has been at the end of the convention, I usually put together some kind of a round table with either, you know, content creators yep. or developers and so on and so forth. Somebody's got to keep the tradition going. And well, I can uh, tell I all the developers that. then, I can tell the developers then that, hey, Belgio sent us in his stead to keep going the tradition. So yes, we got to have that round right. table. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, folks, see you in thanks very much for watching. See you at Flight Sim Expo. Take care. Safe guys. And we'll Bye-bye. see you next time. Bye for now.